We are in uh, London in Grosnova Square in front of the U.S. Embassy with an American uh, citizen, uh, Selma James, who is uh, demonstrating uh, about uh, Haiti polls. Uh, you said that uh, Haiti polls are wrecked and uh, you ask uh, the U.S. Uh, administration to do what? We are asking the United States to withdraw from doing what it is doing in relation to the polls. We demand that the U.S. stop interfering with the election in Haiti. We demand that the U.S. pull out the U.N. which it put into Haiti and has been occupying Haiti since 2004. Which are the international interests in Haiti? The first interest in Haiti has been that it has a revolutionary past, an anti-racist past, an anti-slavery past, and a number of imperialist countries always feel that it's dangerous that Haiti exists, that it still struggles for its independence from uh, sweatshops as well as occupations, as well as from dictators which the United States has put there on its own behalf. Uh, these events, uh, I'm talking about uh, the Haiti revolution, date uh, back to two centuries ago. It does indeed. It started at the time of the French Revolution and was uh, successful by 1804. It defeated Napoleon and every army that Europe threw at it, and it still won, yes but they are furious up to now that the, that the Haitian people have tried to maintain their independence. The French, for example, in, insisted that Haiti pay reparations for the slaves that he, uh, who had liberated themselves. And for over a hundred years, Haiti was paying money to France millions of francs, which they were able to demand because they had the whole um, army, the French army and the American army to back them up, and Haiti is a small uh, island in the Caribbean Sea. So they are very unhappy about Haitian revolutionary impertinence. The fact that they have always stood up to exploitation and slavery and imperialism, and they feel that Haiti, what the disease, the revolutionary disease that Haiti has can be catching. And indeed, I think it will help the movement in the United States against racism. But now uh, the U.S. president is uh, African-American. Yes, that's, he makes him even more of a traitor than if he were a white president. We had hoped when Obama came in that he would respond at least to Haiti and to Haitian refusal of American imperialism. But he hasn't closed Guantanamo. He hasn't um, uh, done anything for Haiti. He hasn't stopped imperialism. He hasn't stopped the growth of the military. He hasn't stopped the connection with the murderers of the Israeli government. He hasn't done what we in elected him to do. And we know now, if we didn't know before, that it's not enough to be black. It's not enough to be a woman. All what you have to do is to have the politics of the grassroots, and we haven't seen much of that.